friends, today we're going to be making some silly emoji faces. I don't know about you, but I use emojis all the time to try to explain how I feel in a text or a message. And sometimes it's fun to pick just the right one. So today we're going to draw six silly emojis that I find myself using most often. Now, if you'd like to use a circle to trace, we're going to be trying six of them, but you might want to find a cup or something nearby that you could trace for a circle if you're a little nervous about what your circle will look like. Now, I'm just going to draw them by hand because even if mine are a little bit imperfect, Perfect. That's totally fine with me. I'll be using a Sharpie today to start because I want you to be able to see it far from far away on the camera, but you are welcome to start with a pencil and erase if you have anything you need to fix. So I'm going to start here in the middle on the top row and draw one of my circles for my emoji. Come back around the other way and try to have it as neat as I can. And I'll just do six in a big grid. So for a second, it's going to look like a big, huge stoplight because I've got three in a row, and then I'll try three on the bottom. So I'm just getting all my emojis sort of lined up here. And they help to just express maybe more so than words how you might feel about a certain situation. So I picked my six favorites, and we're just gonna go from left to right all the way down to try drawing all six. So let's start pretty simple with a smiley emoji. And for this one, we're going to make a little rainbow line on the bottom like this, a straight line across to connect our rainbow into a big happy smiling face, and then one more line below that to show us where the teeth would be. Then you can change the eyes however you'd like, but I'm just gonna keep mine pretty tall and excited with this little oval colored in. First one, down, looking awesome. Next one, I always like to use the laughing face because I feel like I'm always giggling at something my friends say. So next, we're going to make a giggly emoji with some so excited laughter that there's little tears coming out of their eyes. So making a diagonal line first for the top of the mouth, coming back again with that curved line for the side of the emoji, and then again, a straight line just like this first mouth, but turned on the side. Then I'll make a teardrop shape, which I start with a little curve to the right and then swoop back up. And again, right here, you can mark it with a dot first if that helps you to know where your little teardrop should go. And then a curve to the right and have two teardrops coming off the side. Now you could turn your paper a little bit this way too, but I'm gonna keep mine mostly in line just to help us all be able to see. Then I'll make a letter V to the side and a V the other way to the side, and that shows our eyes to look like they're kind of squinting out of excitement and giggleness. Uh, yes, giggleness is a word. Now let's go ahead and do another one where we practice a winky face. And a winky face doesn't have as much open mouth as the other one. So we're going to start by making a slightly smaller mouth here, and then it becomes more of a crescent moon shape or a banana shape like that for the mouth. Okay, then we'll have an oval similar to the eye here and color that one in. And then this time, because we're gonna have a winking face, we'll have more of a gently curved line to the right and a little bit thicker line on the top. And then we'll have that little extra thick part there colored in. And lastly, the eyebrows for a winky face kind of give away how we feel. So we're gonna do one little line in the same direction as our eye here, and then the other eyebrow line comes to the side here. So it's a little wink, just like that. Next, we're going to make the heart eyes emoji, and the heart eyes emoji is so, so similar to these two in regards to the mouth, but we just changed the eyes. So we'll have a rainbow line for the bottom of the mouth, and a straight line across, and then simply a heart for one eye and a heart for the other. And that one's done. Okay, let's also try one of my favorite ones, which is that little nerdy emoji with his cute glasses and his buck teeth. So for that, we're going to make a line across the top where the glasses are going to be first, and then we'll make sort of a squared off rainbow line upside down, check it out. Squared off means that it's just gently curving to connect, leave a little bit of space, gently curving to connect and come back up. And those are our glasses. Then we need to add the eyes themselves. So little ovals on the inside like that. And again, an emoji mouth like this, but with two teeth in the middle. So straight line across first, curve on the bottom, and then one little rectangle, do a little rectangle. 
silly little nerdy emoji. And my last one here, I'm gonna do one of those silly crazy faces because I feel like sometimes I feel like this crazy faced emoji. So we are going to add another sideways emoji like this. So again, a line to the side. And now because I'm going to be adding a tongue, I wanna make my tongue first so that I don't accidentally go through it with my marker. So I'm gonna add my teeth here and then a little tongue shape like this, which is just like a gentle curving U, okay? And then I'll finish my whole mouth like this, curve, 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 pretend I'm going through, curve, 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 curve. There we go. And now I have my tongue popping out of the mouth and the teeth in my mouth too. And then for this one, cause it's sort of more of a crazy shape, we're gonna have a smaller eye and a bigger eye, and then two dots. One, two. There we go. We just drew six different emojis, and my friends, I bet you can think of a bunch more. Some that might exist already, and some that you might want to invent. What kind of emoji do you wish there was? Maybe it's an emotion you feel a lot, and you sure wish you could explain it in an emoji style. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and color in my little expressive emojis. <music> my colors a little bit because I didn't want to color all my emojis with just yellow so I added different colors and kind of experimented with what might happen if I changed it up just a little bit. You deserve the right to do that artist. Remember it is your creation. Always remember you are strong, you are amazing, you are resilient, and I love you. We'll see you next time my friends.